Hello everyone, this is Prasad, belongs to Second B.Tech IT from SESI Institute of Technology and Engineering. Today our concept is about to find the minimum spanning tree for the given graph using the crucial algorithm and also we have to find the cost. Here we can see the graph given while choosing the crucial algorithm method it uses the greediest approach. So, in this greedy approach, first of all, we have to, our first step is, we have to see whether there are any parallel edges or the loops in the given graph. We, then we have to eliminate those parallel edges and the loops in order to get the correct uh, minimum spanning tree. Here, we didn't find any loops. Loops means uh, the edge which is taken in between the same vertices. For example, if there is here uh, in this graph there is no loop, but uh, loop, for example, loop means if there is any vertex 4, then the edge takes place between the same vertex is called as loop. But here we can't find any loop. And parallel edges, parallel edges means for uh, any two vertices there are different number of edges drawn. Here we in this graph we can see there are parallel edges in between the 2 and 5 vertices. Here in between 2 and 5 there are 2 edges. One is cost is 4 and the other one's cost is 7. Though, so these two are called as parallel edges now here in this diagram. In order to eliminate the parallel edge there are 2 edges now we have to take the edge which has the least weight. So we have to take the edge 4 and we have to eliminate the edge 7. So, our graph after solving this, uh, removing the parallel edge and the loops is here drawn. Minimum spanning tree. The resultant graph after solving this parallel edges and the loop is drawn here. Sorry. So here, here the 4 is the least value so we have to consider 2 to 5 the 4 is the value and we have to eliminate this 7. So we have to take 4 and here 2, here 2, here 5, 6, 3, 3, 7, 8. And after removing this loops and the parallel edges we have to take the, we have to consider the edges and uh, we have to draw the edges, uh, we have to take the edges in an order, either ascending order or the descending order and we have to keep them based on the cost of the edges. So let us consider ascending order and taking the edges based on the cost. Edges and cost. Edge from ascending order now we have to take there are two small values 2 and 2 so we can consider any of the edges first and as another is second that is considered 2 4 edge its cost is 2 and now consider 4 to 5 edge and its cost is 2 and another here we have after the 2 we have the biggest value is 3 and again 3 is repeating so we can take any one edge as first and the other as second. Let us take 3 to 4 3 and 1 to 3 3 Now after 3 our value is 4 edge is 2 to 5 and value is 4 and after 4 we have 5 1 to 2 edge we have value 5 and after 5 6 2 to 3 we have 
and 1 to 6 we have 7 and 3 to 6 we have 8 now we have all the edges considered in an ascending order based on the cost we can also name it as weights weights are cost anything now while finding the minimum spanning tree consider this above table which is arranged in an order so first take 2 to 4 edge edge from 2 to 4 having the cost 2 now consider second edge 4 to 5 4 and here 5 so and also our weight is 2 and now 3 to 4 3 and to 4 our weight is 3 and again 1 to 3 1 and to 3 and our weight is 3 we can place this uh, vertices at any order not even like this but uh, in order to understand very clearly according to the question I am drawing like this in a similar order of the question so we can get an easy idea about this but we can draw in any way, other ways like uh, one can place here any vertices means the, it can be placed anywhere but in order to get the clear idea I am drawing as the as same as the question in order to easy view so after 3 we have edges 4 2 to 5 4 2 to 5 if and the main concept we have to get into the idea is in the minimal spanning tree diagram there sh should not be any cycles cycles means if any it the vertices should not be closed at all sides so if we form the cycle it cannot be called as the spanning tree so we have to avoid the cycles if we place the 2 to 5 it would be if we place the 2 to 5 it forms a cycle so we have to avoid the edge so we have to avoid the edge 2 to 5 now 1 to 2 1 to 2 1 to 2 is a 5 and this also forming an cycle so we have to avoid this edge also so we have to avoid 1 to 2 also 2 to 3 now 2 to 3 means and this also again forming a cycle so we have to avoid this 2 to 3 edge also so we have to avoiding this 1 to 6 here there is no edge forming no cycle forming so we can form the edge 1 to 6 1 to 6 7 cost is uh, next 3 to 6 if it is 3 to 6 then it forms a cycle so we have to avoid 3 to 6 uncompleted so thus the minimum spanning tree is completed using this above ordered edges here we get the minimum spanning tree we can form many number of spanning trees but there is only one minimum spanning tree minimum spanning tree is nothing but the among all the spanning trees the the spanning tree which contains the least values here if the addition is 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 3 13 13 plus 2 plus 2 4 its value is 17 it is the least spanning trees cost among all this minimum all the spanning trees so this is called as the minimum spanning tree and here there are also some rules whether our uh, resultant uh, spanning tree is cut or not so the rules are if our question graph has n number of edges then the output minimum spanning tree must contains the same number of vertices so let us consider see the number of vertices the given graph contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 our given graph contains 6 vertices now we have to check whether the same number of vertices the output to spanning tree contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 our resultant minimum spanning tree also contains the 6 vertices so 
n number of vertices equal to n number of vertices and also the number of edges must be n minus 1 so if the given graph contains n number of edges n number of vertices then the edges of the minimal spanning tree should contains n minus 1 so our given graph contains 6 vertices so our resultant uh, minimal spanning tree edges must be n minus 1 means 6 minus 1 5 6 minus 1 5 edges so let us check 1 2 3 4 5 there are 5 edges so our minimal spanning tree is current now we have to find cost minimal spanning tree cost 1 to 6 sorry 1 to 6 plus edge 1 to 3 plus edge 3 to 4 plus edge 2 to 4 plus edge 4 to 5 so we have to find the cost so the cost total cost is from 1 to 6 edge we can we have 7 and 1 to 3 edge we have the cost 3 plus 3 to 4 edge we have the cost 3 and 2 to 4 edge we have the cost 2 and 4 to 5 edge we have the cost 2 so total cost is equal to total cost is equal to 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 3 13 13 plus 2 15 15 plus 2. total cost this is the total cost and this is the Inverse spanning tree for the given graph.